it's a little noisy in advance. I apologize, it's just the ducks enjoying their first day out in the chicken tractor. This is Chicken Tractor 2.0. This is the second one I've made. I made a few changes to this one versus the last one. I'm going to show you guys the changes that I made. If you want to see how to build the chicken tractor from start to finish, I'm going to put a link right here. Go click on it and you can see the original video. So one of the things I did is I changed the latches, just a regular gate latch with the eyes. I like that latch a lot better for this door. The door doesn't stay square when you're moving it around so it's a lot easier just to use the gate hook. I did two, one on the top and one on the bottom. And the also the other thing I did that I really like on this one is I just used a branch that I found that was bent, cut it, took the bark off of it and made the end so it would fit flush. I had to cut an angle on the bottom on the top I just had to flatten off the back side and that makes a really nice handle. Like I said I try to use what I have around the property to make the tractors so I can buy the minimum amount as possible. The door was made the same way. I used leftover pine, three quarters of an inch thick, four inches wide. The other big improvement I made I like is this one by six right here is cedar, not pressure treated. It's lighter, and that way I don't have to worry about the chemicals, the pressure treated wood. When I went to buy my supplies this time at Lowe's, they had the cedar one. It was a little bit more money, about two bucks more aboard, but I figured it was worth the initial investment. I did the sides the same way with the chicken wire and the foot overhang on the bottom so an animal can't come up or even my dog can't come up and dig to get in to visit the animals. Like I said, I have a cover with greenhouse plastic right now. It's still cold. I can roll up the sides like it's here and get plenty of air in. I can do the same for the back, but right now the back is down. It's only in the 30s here, so high 30s. It was about 38 this morning. The other thing I did is I bought two 10 inch tires, let's see if you guys can see those. I went ahead and I got two tires, one for each side. I got a half inch bolt going through. You gotta make sure you double nut them on the back side. Otherwise, otherwise when you're pulling the tractor around, it'll tighten up or loosen up. So if you double nut it, tighten up the second nut as tight as you can to the first one and you don't have to worry about this nut loosening or tightening. So I have it set up come summertime. I just got a couple of boards sandwiching the plastic for the back side. I can take that plastic right off. And then same for the front. If I want to go ahead and remove the greenhouse plastic on the front, just unscrew this board right here. Take the plastic right out, set it aside, put it back in come fall and winter. I can either take the plastic off the top of the chicken tractor or I can just get a shade cloth or a white tarp to put over it so they'll have shade. So the measurements again, so my 1x6 cedar piece is 10 feet long. I have two hog panels. They are 50 inches wide and they are 16 feet long. Hooped over, one on each side, and I have them screwed to the 1x6. I'm using four regular two by fours for the uprights for the doorway and then two pressure treated to go across to the one bys and then you just need your poultry netting 60 inches long and like I said I leave it a foot overhang on the ground so now I'm still gonna be making one more chicken tractor the last one I'm making is for the meat birds. I don't plan on putting any more greenhouse plastic on the next one. Should be warm enough by the time the meat birds go out that they don't need the greenhouse plastic on it. So I'm just gonna have a tarp over a lot of it. I'll make a video and an update on that one when it's all together. 
That should be coming out in another week or two. So stay tuned. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Share the video, it really helps. And like I always said, we'll see you back here next time at Lumna Acres.